guys and welcome to the Wash Our Watch Views with your host CK back with an unboxing and we're going to announce the winner of the Orient Kamasu competition that I was running. So keep an eye out for that video. So this unboxing actually is going to be something a bit different. It's a mystery watch that I bought from a company called watches.com. They seem to be based in the United States. I have no experience or affiliation with the company whatsoever. So I'm curious to see what it is they actually send me. Uh, I do know one of the watches that I got was a Timex chronograph. The other one is completely unknown. They say it's worth, I think it was $400 and I paid 150 for it. So it's probably something that's on clearance. So let's see exactly what it is I managed to pick up. Let's get to it. So let's get on with the unboxing. Now, don't forget, I will be dropping the competition winner for that Orient Kamasu somewhere along the way. So I can't remember if I mentioned this, but in the intro, I may have mentioned that I got this one from watches.com. It's a website I've never actually frequented before, but I somehow subscribed to one of their lists and they had one of these mystery deals on, similar to Watch Gang. And I thought, you know what? I actually need to get some stock in for what I want to review and maybe some interesting stuff. Two of the watches are in here. One of them I know something about in that it's a Timex and they had it on a deal. I think it was something like $35, I can't remember. And the other one, I have no idea what it is. So let's find out together. Okay, nondescript boxes. This one, I don't know what this is because it's a plain white box. This could be the Timex. It is the Timex. Okay, let's look at the Timex first and see exactly what we have got ourselves here. So, pick myself up a Timex chronograph. And it's an... Oh, my God. Why is the glare so bad on this? Hang on. I'm going to switch cameras. There we go. That's better, isn't it? We can actually see what we're looking at. I don't know why it was so dark on the other camera. Very, very strange. So, I've got myself a little Timex chronograph. Well, maybe not that little. I think it's actually a decent enough size. I think it might be a 42. Uh, it's got an Indiglo feature. It has got a very hard to read dial at times. And I'm sure if I push the crown down in a second, once I put out the stopper and push it in to start it, that we will see a running second hand down there at the six o'clock position that you can see because of that blue chronograph hand which is slightly misaligned, which I'm going to have to fix off camera at some point. You've got your loomed hour and minute hands, you've got your date, and hopefully you should have some loom. I don't know if this is going to come across. I'm assuming there's some way of looming this, but I actually don't know. Uh, either way, it was cheap, it was cheerful, and it might be some giveaway fodder for the future. So let's press the chronograph hand and get that running. So it is a one tick at a second Per second hand for the chronograph you can see it is a bit misaligned as well so if I press it and then press to reset it sweeps all the way around but it stops a little bit before 12 that's an easy fix I think it's just pull the crown out and push one of these two to reset but not a big deal I can fix that anyway uh, it is all printed indices and it is feels like it might be plexiglass on the crystal strap is a simple basic NATO to be quite honest I'll probably rip it off this doesn't feel the greatest and then there is a sticker on the back telling you how a chronograph works which realistically I don't need so I'm going to pull that off on the back then you have your Timex logo watchmaker since 1854 I think they were started in England or Scotland someone will correct me on that one and then moved around the place went to US and then went to I don't know where probably China made in China I'm guessing stainless steel 50 meters of water resistance and the model number is there I believe the M921 no, sorry, model number is actually there, and the camera will behave itself. Model number is... Oh, God, that is really hard to pick up on camera. I don't know that's going to come up, so I'm just going to have to read it for you. It's the TW2T29700. 20 millimeter lug width, so this one is going to be grand. I have plenty of straps in line for this. However... And now it is time to announce the winner of my competition. So I did one of those YouTube random comment picker generator things. I typed in all the comments that were eligible and the one that came out 
was the comment by Will Halliday. So I have commented on Will's comment already, so I know which one it is, and I've notified Will. But Will, if you are seeing this for the first time in the video, please make sure to reach out to me, and I'll give you instructions on how to uh, let me know that it is definitely you, verify it, and I'll get your address details and send you out the Orient Kamasu. Thank you very much for everyone who's entered. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I've been your host, DK. Back to the unboxing. See what you get for your money. So, I have no idea what this is. It's a Vesto. Never heard of them. Could be absolutely anything in here. So let's take a look and see what a mystery buy of about 150, I think, was get to. So it's a pull top box. And we have got ourselves another chronograph. Okay, ooh. Oh, it's got a stand. I was like, my God, this thing's heavy. Okay, there is a stand. Please come on. Oh, I've pulled it off the wrong way. Oh, it's a... Jesus, it's a very heavy watch, considering this is very definitely a quartz chronograph. And if I'm honest, probably not the greatest quartz chronograph either. Hmm. Yeah, okay, so it's a red tachymeter bezel. It looks to be very thick we've got a chronograph stand you can see there the second hand ticking away so this is not a mecha quartz unfortunately i don't believe again misalignment that's not great from watches.com this is not really the most reassuring thing in the world okay that has now started it's not the best is it really i was hoping for a bit better um the bracelet is Looks to be solid link, solid end link, which is nice. It is a butterfly clasp, which is not so good. If I'm being totally honest, I don't really like butterfly clasps. I think this is going to be giveaway slash sale fodder as well, unfortunately. I hoped there might be something interesting here, but I'm just going to press stop on that chronograph and reset it. Have you screwed it? So if I push that, then push that, absolutely nothing happens to that second hand. I don't believe this. I think this is broken. I think this chronograph arrived to me broken. That's not even moving, is it? Okay, hang on a second. Is there a manual with this? I mean, I shouldn't really need this, but Vestal... For warranty or repairs issues, do not return this product to the store. Why wouldn't I? And there's a spare link included. Is this a used watch? Is this like a, a broken watch that they've sold to me that someone returned? There is no manual with this. Can anyone tell if this actually unscrewed or did I unscrew it or anything it doesn't seem to unscrew or go any further and it looks to be in the same position as it was previously it's just it's just not resetting oh this is very disappointing this is very lackluster this poor it's like it's got a crystal protector there i can't even tell if that's got a crystal protector i think it does It does, and it looks to have anti-reflective coating, which is nice, because you can see the blue pop, but honestly, I don't care. This isn't working. That's That second hand down there is supposed to be the chronograph seconds, and nothing is aligned. And it doesn't reset. So this is a completely pointless watch at the moment, because you can't reset the second hand. I'm very disappointed with this. I know it was, you know, it was a cheap and cheerful. It was a, a grab bag. It was a hope, hit and hope. But this is poor. Guys, I've been your host, DK. This has been Watch Star Watch Views. And this has been a fairly poor ad advert, advert, I suppose, for watches.com. Uh, as it is standing at the moment, I wouldn't recommend you buy anything from them. This is pretty poor to me. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the review or the unboxing. And I'll see you guys next time for something, hopefully... A bit better than this heap of, well, something I can't say on YouTube. Bye for now.